that uh, at the end of the day, the health care reform, while it wasn't a perfect bill, I believe that it was moving us in the, st in the, in the step of the right direction. I, I believe uh, very fervently that health care should, should be a right um, for all Americans in this, uh, in, this, uh, in this great country of ours. I mean, health care should be about a right and not a fight. Um, and so I will work tirelessly on behalf of getting it right because I know that this, this bill wasn't a, wasn't a perfect bill. I think that, um, you know, a lot of, uh, I think that in order to bring down costs, you have to have competition. And in order to have real competition, especially for the third poorest district, like this district, a robust public option at some point needs to be back on the table and discussed. And um, in Congress, I, I would push to try to make sure that that is continuously brought back on the table because the seventh congressional district needs it. What about uh, issues for, for working people, working families, things like the Employee Free Choice Act, mm -hmm. the Paycheck Fairness Act? I know Lily Ledbetter has endorsed your yes. candidacy, and, and that's I one am, of her issues. Absolutely, and I am fervently in favor of, of, uh, of, of issues that will help working Americans and, and women get equal pay for equal work. Um, so, you know, the, the Lily Ledbetter Fair Pay Act was just one part of it. I mean, it sort of put us back, it sort of put us back to the status quo where we were before the Supreme Court case. Uh, so there's work to do in order to actually get women equal pay for the equal work that they do. Um, and, uh, you know, I, I, I believe, you know, I grew up in a family of workers. Um, uh, and I know that this, this state and this nation has been built on the backs of working class families um, who deserve to have good benefits, who deserve that, to have the right to unionize if they want to unionize. And I think that, you know, while EFCA is off the table right now, I know that it's probably something that will continue to, to come up time and time again. And, um, you know, I, I come from a working class family, you know, who've uh, worked really hard to provide for their families. And I think that, uh, you know, Workers deserve to have the right to have safe environments that they work in and to have benefits to be able to, um, you know, pay for the health care of themselves and their families. And I'll fight for those benefits and those opportunities. On a woman's right to choose, I believe that a woman's a, a reproductive decision should be made between herself and her doctor. And that, and I would fight for that opportunity for women to continue to be able to make choices about their reproductive decisions. I would fight to continue to have the Roe v. Wade, um, 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 the, uh, the legal protections that are afforded women in Roe v. Wade, um, and I would uh, fight any erosion of that. Um, I think it's critically important. I, no one, I, I must you know, start by saying that, you know, I, obviously um, people want abortions to be rare and safe. All of us want that. But I believe a woman's uh, reproductive decisions need to be made by her and her doctor. And I'd fight for that in Congress. With respect to uh, uh, you know, gay marriage and, and civil unions, I believe it's a civil rights, human rights issue. And I believe that in 2010 um, that we should not discriminate against any group of people in this nation. Um, and I think I come from that because I'm an African American woman. Um, who knows what it like, it's like to be discriminated against on, for sex and for race. And so, um, you know, I, I think that, uh, that uh, every, I, I'm really for a state's right to decide on what they want to do when it comes to um, civil unions and, 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 and gay marriage and would respect a state's right to choose for that. I think that me personally, I would be more in favor of civil unions than I would in favor of uh, gay marriage. But having said that, I am, I see this as a civil rights and a, and a human rights issue and believe that people's partners should be able to share in their health benefits and be able to inherit um, uh, uh, their property from their, their, their uh, significant others. And, um, you know, so I, I know that that's a very hard issue and, um, very complicated issue, um, but I think at the very base of it, it's a human rights issue and about civil rights and protecting people's civil rights.
Sure. Financial reform. Mm -hmm. With your background, you probably really understand what this is all about. Absolutely. Would you be an advocate for that? Absolutely. I, I'm, I would be an advocate for transparency and accountability on Wall Street. It's critically important. We are where we are today because um, we, you know, Wall Street was allowed to sell these really exotic products, and I don't want to get in the weeds on this, um, that most folks didn't understand what they were pur purchasing. We have to get back to the basics where Wall Street is about investing for small businesses so that they can hire uh, people and, and, and be able to produce, pro um, uh, uh, produce uh, products and, and sell them and, 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 and sort of, you know, um, um, re-energize our economy. We have to get back to the basics. So I would be all for, and in fact, because I understand it, would be a leading advocate of, of developing legislation that would provide transparency for um, Wall Street uh, and financial services industries, as well as accountability. It's critically important. At the end of the day, uh, it, it is, um, to me, uh, disheartening that the very people that got us in this situation, we bailed out, <laughs> and they've given those same fat cats huge bonuses when we in Main Street are suffering each and every day. It's unfair, um, and we're the ones who are fueling that. So we can demand transparency and accountability. And it's about drafting legislation. It's about pushing it through and making sure that we hold their feet to the fire. This too big to fail stuff, should, should, should they be allowed to be that big? That, they, well, they, that these banks would bring down the whole, whole economy? I, 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 I don't think so. I,